Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct the market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Scenario 6, Forge and Alliance. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation's starting to look up. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in a monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic. English has captured. Good! You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right clicking the monastery button. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Perfect. You now have one relic garrisoned. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. You've reached your allies' town. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Yes, I have. Your allies' gate will open automatically for you. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built by the buildings and must be periodically redoing. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. Your ally has far more farms than is necessary. I've got five guys on the farms, five guys on the wood. Eventually, once all those sheep are there, we're gonna have five guys get sheep instead. Allies relic, and you just have them come back. Hopefully before the allies get attacked by the English, which they do. Now, once I get a market, I will in fact get cartography. Planning on doing it as soon as I have enough wood, because it'll allow me to see my allies' line of sight. Also, lots of houses to make sure I don't get housed. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, Yellow Flyer, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, you'll need to build a farm. Again, I'm going for 10 archers, 10. Swordsman. You have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering their relic. Not really. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. That was nice of you. He's even nice to you if you don't give him anything back. For your end. You now have two relics, Garrison. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious. The tricky one, the one from the English. Archer. I think I have all my guys, just have to 
upgrade a few of those guys to men at arms. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. We didn't even send them anything. Your ally. Click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of your screen. Give your allies some food and gold, but don't give them everything you own. Have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market and for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. No need for stone as of yet, so we'll sell all. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Really shouldn't have done that. No, that. I probably should have stayed inside those gates. Oh, I managed to stay inside. Good. Tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Pointless, but I will do it when I get Forgotten Campaign on because I don't know those tech trees off by heart. somewhere. That would mean I was in this. Oh, uh, maybe I wasn't. No, that's just what it was. I had my guys sneak under and keep them. Keep the gate open. I didn't even break the gate. I just kept it open by having my men attacking it from underneath. And then they walked through the gate and disappeared. Along with my monk. They went back to where they came from. To their creation point. 
so I beat this without going to the castle age at all. Or losing any monks. And now I've got some horse armor. Beat fear, beat fear. What to say about Age of Empires as a game? Uh, it's a very good game. Like I said, it's nostalgia for me. When I first played this, I was like amazed by how good it was compared to other games at the time of this genre. I think this is probably the best game of the genre, and it looks better as well. Um, and it's Microsoft. And Microsoft made Halo and stuff, didn't they? They did make Halo, right? I think they did. Or they're related to the people who made Halo. Halo was made for PC. I don't know if Microsoft actually made it, but similar people. Things like Knights of the Old Republic as well was made for PC. I don't think that was on consoles at all. It might have been on the Xbox. Could do a playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic, but it would probably slow my computer down so much installing that game after all this time. And would it even work? It's riddled with bugs. Knights of the Old Republic was a good game though. You made it straight. And it's not canon anymore. You can make extra gold. Notice that I'm using the trade card just for the sake of kind of so you know how trade cards work. The trade card goes from one market to the other market and creates gold. almost one. In fact, yes I have. Congratulations! You've captured so hard, all three I used to so hard. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers, and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. 